Hello and welcome back to another M40 Militaria video. Today's video, I have bought four new combat shirts and I'm just going to talk a little about them and show them off. So this video is going to be relatively short, so make sure in the description is my Instagram. Also check out the Discord, there's not many people in it, but I want to get that started up as well. So up first is the Polish WZ-93 Pantera. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but hey ho. This camouflage has become the standard camouflage for the Polish Armed Forces. It is the successor of the camouflage WZ-89 Puma. The M93, as is kind of, or the WZ-93, as it kind of points towards, it entered service in 1993 and is personally my favourite camouflage. Sometimes it is called Presidential Woodland, and I don't know the official meaning behind that name, but I might have an idea why. This camouflage was made for JWGROM or JW Grom, which is a Polish spe special forces in the middle of the 90s. This camouflage was introduced to all branches of the Polish armed forces after this guy appeared with Grom camouflage in military training exercises. Anyway, on to what I think about it. Personally, for summertime, it's a little bit too thick. The fabric's very thick. During the winter, I think it would be perfect. Personally, my favourite camouflage, this thing is literally covered in pockets. There's an elasticy waistband part, which is really good, and it stick to, sticks to your body so it's not flapping around. And overall, I just love this jacket and this camouflage. Next up, we have USBDU. USBDU was the standard combat uniform from the early 1980s to the mid 2000s. Since then, it has been replaced or supplemented in every branch of the US Armed Forces. However, there are still some agencies that use it in the US. The US federal, state and local law enforcement agencies sometimes still use them and other groups such as the DEA, FAST or and SWAT teams. BDU was in service with the US Army from 1981 to 2008 and took part in many wars such as the Cold War, the Yugoslav Wars and the Global War on Terrorism. So the one that I've got, after a little bit of research, uh, I think, I'm not 100% sure, certain, but it was worn by a soldier in Korea. To be clear, not the Korean War, because it would be way too late for the Korean War, as in he was stationed in Korea. I also have another one, which is a National Guard one. It has American flags, it has loads of badges on it, whereas this one has only a couple. Anyway, moving on to the next shirt is a French dague. Now, obviously I'm not French, so that's not how you pronounce it, but in English it means dagger. This uniform was introduced in 1989. Uh, this French desert camouflage model is commonly known as dagger, which is da dagger, and it is called that because it is closely associated with Operation Dagger, which was an operation that took part in the Gulf War, where the French army used it for the first time. This is quite a short one because I don't actually know much about this camouflage or the shirt for that matter but personally my opinion on it I really like it I think it's a super nice camouflage it kind of reminds me of the American chocolate chip camo which was around about the same time as it used in the Gulf War also however I like it because it's baggy it fits me really nice it's got loads of pockets and it's got quite a bit of velcro on it to add patches but also apart from that it is also quite cheap not bad quality just cheap now this next one I actually couldn't find too much information on. However, it is still a military shirt, so I'm still going to talk about it. This is a Czech VZ-92. Now, this wasn't actually designed to be a traditional camouflage. It was more designed to be a work uniform. Again, as I said, I actually don't know much about this, so if anyone knows any more about it, please leave something in the comments about it. We're going to move on to what I think about it. I think it's really nice. I think it's quite it's quite light, it's nice, airy. I think it's more it's almost like a tracksuit top instead of like a a shirt. I don't think it would be very good in combat, but it would definitely be just quite nice to wear uh when not in combat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just kind of a quick one. There should be a Discord link in the description. I'm just trying to set that up. Bear with me, we just need more people in it. And an Instagram where I post all of my military surplus before it goes up on the channel. Be sure to check those out, like, subscribe, and if you know anything about any of this, these uniforms that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one.